So today we get to mark the boundaries of the House of the Foundation, stake it out, figure out the orientation, where it's going to go in relation to the sun, the sun um, so that we can position our solar correctly in line with the house more or less and then also so that the sun sets back here sets kind of on the corner anything else no yeah we're just doing the foundation we're just going to mark where um, where we're going to dig we're going to try to make sure that we're doing straight lines make everything square Something really exciting happened today. Uh, we got the call that our solar has come in. And so we are on our way there. We have to rent um, this trailer from U-Haul. That's what James is doing right now. And we're gonna go pick up, um, let's see, today it is our solar panels. We got 2,405 watt uh, Q-cell, uh, what is it called? Bifacial, there we go, bifacial. Um, solar panels and we got a 12 kilowatt uh, inverter it's an all-in-one grow watt inverter it has two charge controllers and it does everything in the box so I don't have to worry about buying um, you know all, all the little things separately
Well, we started excavation today. Um, mainly what we're doing right now is pulling up all of the stumps from the trees that we cut down uh, earlier last week. And um, so we're gonna be doing that today. And then later on this week, we will be getting to our trenching, which is really exciting. Uh, moving forward is always great. Um, the tree trunks that we're actually pulling up, we're gonna use in our stream or in our little creek to kind of dam it up. Um, because so much water runs through it and it runs through it very quickly, uh, we were told by our local NRCS and by another person who knows um, land conservation and um, stream conservation really well that creating small beaver-like dams uh, really helps with the water flow so it doesn't just rush through and erode and create gullies. We have a pretty big gully down at the bottom of the creek, at least at the bottom of our property of the creek. Uh, so we're going to be using the trunks for that, which will be really great to have. Um, and that will just allow us to also retain water in our creek so that when it does get really hot in the summertime, hopefully it won't completely dry out. That's my goal. Um, a lot of things that we're doing out here focuses on conservation, um, land regeneration, that kind of thing. It's just 10 acres. We don't have a lot of land, but what we do have I really want to build it up and make it something magical. I want to make it a Garden of Eden of sorts. It's kind of my goal. Um, so there's a lot to do and it's already so wild and so beautiful and preserved for the most part. Uh, but there's things that you can do to help manage it a little bit better um, and, and promote more wildlife and um, more growth, uh, more water retention, which is a really big thing down here. Uh, we have years where we get, you know, a third of the rain or half the rain that we're supposed to. And then there's years like this year where we get more than enough. And so um, uh, managing the land in such a way that it can handle when we get more rain and also retain water when we're in a drought um, will really help our farm and help our animals so that we don't have to use any inputs. Our land will be the input for our animals and for ourselves. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we are doing this week. Um, and hopefully all will go well with the trenching. Um, and we'll be one step closer to finally having a home again.
So what are we doing today? I don't know. 